welcome back to another disturbing story. This case is somewhat different because the child involved is older than others. The artist behind the drawings you'll soon see was 13 years old at the time. His older brother Cody discovered and submitted the drawings. I'll refer to him as John. According to Cody, John is a loner who faces bullying since they were kids. While Cody found these drawings a year ago, he recently submitted them, and now both brothers are in high school, with Cody being a senior and John a freshman. Cody observes instances of mild bullying against John in gym class. Despite Cody's attempts to help John socialize, he's accepted that they're different. John prefers spending time at home playing computer games rather than doing homework or hanging out with friends. His family worries about him, but they're unsure how to help. John's teachers are concerned about his lack of effort and poor grades. Due to his quiet nature, they've even inquired about his well-being at home. Once, while John was out with their mom, Cody snooped through his notebook and found unusual doodles instead of notes. He also discovered peculiar drawings on John's laptop, including one depicting a violent scenario at school. Cody stumbled upon John's YouTube channel, featuring simplistic graphic cartoons. One video depicted John threatening his classmates with a shotgun. It's unsettling to imagine what may be going on in John's mind, considering his reclusive behavior and experiences with bullying. Cody never disclosed the videos or pictures to their parents but confronted John directly. In embarrassment, John deleted his YouTube channel and lashed out at Cody. Cody refrained from informing their parents about his discovery out of concern for John's privacy. He had a conversation with John, who claimed the drawings were for YouTube views and not indicative of his intentions. A year later, Cody still ponders whether to share his findings with their parents. Given John's isolation and the nature of his drawings, involving the authorities may be the best course of action. Subscribe.